Hey everyone, this is Tim. This is Vegas at night and a pretty amazing, beautiful night. Lots of great lights. This is my last night here. Uh, really grateful for Dan, uh, Dan versus World to uh, join me for a really nice time in Vegas. Uh, lots of great exploring and lots of great eating. So uh, he's gone back and uh, I'm by myself and I thought, you know what, why not check out some of the other buffets? I remember uh, just recently visiting the Bacchanal Buffet and it was indeed probably the best in Vegas. But I recall years ago, uh, just very close second is the Wynn Buffet. And uh, I'm just kind of curious to see how they are now. And uh, I think we need to, uh, just for curiosity's sake, uh, I think we need to check them out. And that's my excuse that I'm sticking to it. Uh, I don't need a lot of convincing to uh, visit a buffet. But uh, this is uh, Vegas at night, really beautiful. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Thank you so much for joining and uh, I hope you're hungry too. So without further ado, let's check out how the Wynn Buffet is now, a couple of years later, and uh, hopefully we'll have a great meal as well. So come on, let's go. Oh, thank you, sir. Looking quite festive and people are doing the same thing. It's been a while and I can't remember where the buffet is. I think we'll have to rely on the signs. Perfect, and I see it right up ahead. Over there, same eponymous sign. Hi, Natalia. Hi, welcome to the buffet. Oh, so great to be back. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> we appreciate you. All right, thank you. Uh, I think the line is moving pretty quickly. So I'm at the head of the line now. Can't hardly wait. Josephine, thank you so much for this wonderful table. All right, so I'm back at the Win Buffet. And uh, Josephine was nice enough uh, to get this wonderful table with a view of the buffet. Let me show you. All the way down there, lots of food stations. And I think it's quite festive. I think I'm gonna grab a drink first. Hi Rizal, how are you? I'm fine, Mr. Lee. Oh, okay. I'm here to take the drink orders before you start the buffet. Oh, you know what? Can I? I think there's gonna be a lot of seafood and uh, maybe a nice buttery Chardonnay. Oh my goodness! Certainly, yes, certainly. So now the drink order is set, and uh, Rizal mentioned that he'll take care of the drinks and I'll take care of the buffet. So without further ado, uh, let's go check it out. This is pretty cool. You look to the right, there's a buffet. You look to the left, there's more buffet. I think we're gonna head right first. Oh, but look at all this. So, so far what I've seen is it looks pretty much the same back in business. And uh, I guess to start, we've got our uh, salad station. So this is usually the part that's untouched, but an extensive salad station. Oh, and these are really nice, prosciutto and melon and uh, shrimp papaya salad. So we've got some nice soups here. Oh, creamy tomato soup and uh, vegetable soup. Very healthy so far. And uh, oh, now we have the meat. We'll grab a plate first. Here we go. Wonderful fatty meats. I think We'll go for some popa ham. Wow. And we've got some cheeses. And that is for display only, at least for me. So we have the chicken here. And uh, Katie was uh, seasoning up this wonderful salmon, Asian inspired. I think we've got some mushrooms here next to the meats. Hey Katie, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> nice to be back and nice to see you. Welcome back. Hi. I hope you enjoy everything. Oh, I will do. Some sea bass. Oh, tuna. You're gonna get that one. I will get this one. And a repeat of the sea bass. And we have some nice crab. All right. Not too bad. Oh, and we have some good looking pizza here. Truffle mushroom pizza. Meat lovers, margarita. 
and I guess the cheese. But I think I'm gonna go for the truffle mushroom pizza. I think this is the only bread I will eat. Oh, this is the comfort food station. Let's see, Italian meatballs and lasagna, chicken marsala, that looks really good. And some broccoli or broccolini, individual truffle seafood pasta, and mushroom ragu, sausage and peppers, so that is to be determined. And some gnocchi, oh, seafood gnocchi, and a seafood risotto. So far, it's pretty good. Oh, and my favorite station. This is a taco station. Tacos made to order. Hi, Juan. Hey, how are you? Very good. Thank you so much for the tacos. Can I get a, uh, how about a fish and a carne asada? Oh, wonderful fish. Oh my goodness. Juan, thank you so much. So the food looks good, but the hospitality is even better. And Juan is such a showman. Oh, let's see what else we have. More stations here. So we're getting into the Asian section, the Asian veggies. This doesn't look Asian. The mashed potatoes and even better smoked barbecue meatloaf. Best of both worlds. Some carrots for health. Pretty cool looking uh, cruciferous vegetables. Oh, look at this. Cornbread some barbecue pork and fish and chips. Oh, this looks amazing. Let's go for a piece of rib here. Truffled spinach dip, very nice. Sweet potato, mac and cheese and gratin potatoes. That looks really lovely. Go for a little bit of that. This is an impressive looking station. So wonderful roasted meats. So let's do a little bit of the snapper. Nice reach. Can I get a little bit of bacon? Just a little bit. Oh, thank you. My favorite station. A nice fatty Polish sausage. And I think I'm going to get started with a horseradish because I know what's coming up next. And we'll go for the cream horseradish. Hey George, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. This looks like an amazing station. Oh, so you've got uh, so many foods here. Can I try a little bit of, of each? Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, and this is a brisket. Thank you. The prime rib. Can I get half of that? And maybe the half with the fat. Oh, thank you. All right, so I think I'm going to go back to my seat. There's still some other stations, but I don't want to overdo it. That was a bit of work and uh, used a bit of energy. And it's kind of nice to come back to the table and see uh, improvements. <laughs> they actually gave me uh, two tables now. Uh, I think the uh, people left next to me and uh, I got an extra space and nice to have a glass of wine from Rizal All right, cheers to you mm. Nothing wrong with the buttery Chardonnay and uh, Look at all this good food here, and it's uh, really nice to see I think uh, Just uh, just like as it was before so it's pretty hard to decide on what to eat, uh, but let's see. So we've got the pizza and uh, lasagna and uh, this crab is resting on that nice uh, cured meat. This is shrimp with a bit of risotto and uh, some veggies for health. Cornbread and uh, meatloaf and that wonderful taco from Juan, some tuna. And this is a luscious plate of meats. I suspect we should probably start with the pizza. Melty cheese. Oh, look at that. All right, two-handed operation. I think that's the only way to do it. Mmm. Mmm. That was a big bite, but a delicious one. Mushrooms are nice and soft. And we can check the undercarriage. Nice and crispy. Mm. Very nice. I think we need to shift things around. 
and got to try those tacos from Juan. They look fantastic. All right, Juan says they were fresh, and I got to try the fish. Here's a carne asada, and I think this is a wonderful fish taco. Get a grilled pepper in there. I think that's how you do it. A little bit of lime. Oh, look at that. It's like a pound. All right, cheers to you. Mm. Juan wasn't kidding when he said it was fresh. You can taste it. Really nice fish. And then guacamole and the salsa. Mm. Really nice and fresh. And a bit messy. But I think I'm going to be visiting Juan a few times tonight. Mm. Definitely got to try the carne asada. A little bit of lime. Whoa. Wonderful guacamole. Mm. So easy to finish. The beef is nice and savory. And that freshness of the salsa and the guacamole makes you want to eat more. Mm. Very good. I think this is kind of like the Vegas standard. You don't really need a knife. Uh, look at this. That prime rib seems to just melt. Oh, and uh, we'll get a little bit of regular horseradish and a little bit of the creamy horseradish. Oh. Mm. With that, I think the wind is back. Mm. Very nice. The prime rib that I got has a little bit of fat and this tender calf here that just melts in the mouth. Oh, so good. Got to try that brisket. I think we need to combine them. A little bit of brisket and a little bit of cornbread. A little bit here. All right. Oh, barely holding together. Mmm. Mmm. I am surprised. That brisket looked a little bit dry, but not at all. Nice and tender. And the uh, cornbread is nice and crumbly. Mmm. Mm. So, I think I'm going to finish these dishes here. And um, this is only the right side of the buffet. We still have the left side of the buffet to go. And we'll take it back for that. So round one, or the right side of the buffet, was fantastic. And uh, it really did a dent. That rib bone, by the way, that's a killer. That's going to fill you up. So just be careful if you're coming to the buffet. But really nice. And surprisingly, that meatloaf and that mashed potatoes were superb. And uh, even though with the crab, I forgot the butter. No worries, because a little bit of crab in that spinach sauce and also more crab in that marinara sauce is fantastic. Beats butter any day. So I think I'm just going to finish this up. And then we'll take you to the left side of the buffet. Right away we have some comforting noodles. Hi Gary. How are you sir? So nice to see you. I like to see you. <laughs> the uh, ramen looks really good. I'm pretty yeah, full. Thanks, but like can I have a little bit? Maybe yeah, a half portion. Yeah, I got the whole belly beef. This is a pot boy. Phoenix pot boy thing. Can I get a little bit of ramen noodle with an egg and the uh, pork? So a little bit of egg, pork, maybe a bok choy?
Thank you, Gary. Really nice to see you. So I think we're just coming off the Lunar New Year, so we see a lot of Asian foods here. The bamboo steamers, Mongolian beef, some fried rice, and some uh, uh, haul fun, I guess. Wonton soup. So we've got the veggie spring rolls, which I will pass because they've got the panko bread shrimp rolls. Oh. And let's see what's under quash number one. Oh, hot stickers. Oh, more pot stickers. I think these are veggies. And what's this? Oh, leek cakes. Let's try one of those. That looks very good. Next to the roll, a bat and a ball. Oh, and the buns. We don't need to go for the buns. All right, so this is the Asian uh, Japanese station or Korean. We have the seaweed and the kimchi. Oh, edamame. Oh, these are really nice. A nice poke bowl. Right in the center, some sauces, some mint sauce. All right, and I think we're finishing off with the sushi and the seafood station. Actually, I'm kind of glad the left side is a little bit shorter than the right side, which is nice because uh, I'm getting pretty full. We'll go for a little bit of a dragon roll. Go. Three o'clock and one spicy tuna roll left. 3.30. Oh, okay, and then more sushi here. They have shrimp. Oh, the salmon. Oh, and the unagi looks really good. All right, and then this is a cold seafood. Crab and oh my goodness, ginormous shrimp. Round two and a little bit smaller, but uh, I think that would suit. Wonderful ramen from Gary. And then this, uh, I guess, uh, clock of uh, Asian goodness. Uh, some sushi, the poke bowl, and a wonderful shrimp roll topped with shrimp. We really need to give that ramen a go before it gets uh, soggy. Oh, wonderful noodles. And some pork. I think we've got to give this a try. Mm. No, the broth is superb and the noodles are actually pretty good. I think I let it sit for a while, but uh, really, really nice. Gary did such an amazing job. I think we got to try the pork, a little bit of bok choy. Here we go. Mm. Very nice. Oh, eating ramen wasn't the wisest choice, but it was certainly a tasty choice. Okay, no, can't wait to try the other dish. Gotta try that crispy shrimp roll. Okay, so the nice thing is we have to move the shrimp out of the way for yet another bed of uh, crispy shrimp. Let's give this a try. The chopsticks come in handy. Mmm, wow, so light and crispy, and the uh, wrapper is almost non-existent. Just a thin layer of crispness and a really, really nice uh, fresh shrimp filling. Mm. Very good. And I recall the uh, Wynn has an amazing dessert section and I can't wait to see how it is like now and if it was anything like this buffet here I'll be in trouble so I'm going to finish this in record time and uh, we'll take it back for the dessert okay as I recall the dessert is in this uh, little room here or the large room through the arches this is like Candyland, and uh, we see all the hardworking folks at the back prepping, and uh, let's see what we have. So we have some uh, apple cobbler and uh, 
nice butterscotch pudding. But these are wonderful lava cakes. Go for one of these. That Yum. is a lava cake. Oh, lava cake. Look at that. Where's that? Right here. Oh. Finish your dinner first. Go for yeah, dessert later. I'm trying, yeah. I'm <laughs> Keep walking past it. Only a churro. Not enough room, so it's gonna have to share. Wonderful crepes here. Hi there. Let's see what else. Oh, lots of little goodies. This is where one gets in trouble. A little bit of this and a little bit of that, it adds up. Yuzu cream panna cotta, tapioca, the wonderful creme brulee, and that I'm gonna pass. That actually gets quite heavy. And this, I think, looks like a tiramisu cup, which I can't refuse. This is a pistachio cake. The lemon meringue, which I'm gonna skip, but I'm gonna go for something behind it, carefully. And there's more. We have the chocolate cake. Oh, and these are a wonderful cups of mousses. Let's go for a berry mousse to be a little healthy. And a key lime mousse. And right in the middle is a nice uh, mango vanilla mousse. I'm gonna reach all the way back there carefully. Some other chocolate mousses, but the ice cream cone looks very good. Right over here. And then wonderful bundt cakes. And a repeat of the chocolate cake. Almost had an issue with a churro and uh, you know what goes good with churros? Ice cream. Hi Mary. Hi. Can I get some uh, ice cream? Yes, of course. Okay, sure. so I think uh, I remember President Ford's favorite ice cream is the butter pecan. Can I get some of that? And I remember a friend, uh, Dennis, suggested uh, rum raisin. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. So many desserts and uh, this is such a treat. I think we need to dig in to the lava cake. I don't think that's gonna wait. Oh, oh. It just crumbles. Oh, look at that. Not sure if you can see, but that is just oozing out. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Nice and cakey and crispy on the outside and soft and tender and fudgy molten goodness on the inside. Mmm. The meal is complete. Ice cream is the next thing that doesn't wait. Let's give that a go. Okay. So nothing better than a little bit of rum raisin and butter pecan. And a little bit of churro. A little bit of ice cream. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That was cold. And there's a surprise in the churro, and it's actually filled with an apple pie filling, nice and crispy on the outside, cinnamon sugar, the cross between both worlds at its finest, apple pie and churros. Mm. Light and crispy, really good. And even better, apple pie, ice cream, and coffee. Oh, very nice. Mm. Second sip, and I think I gotta try that panna cotta next. All right, I'm actually forgetting which is which, but I believe this is a panna cotta. Oh, almost a casualty. Oh, look at that. I think this is uh, some dehydrated. I think this is some dehydrated orange, and a uh, little bit of compote, and a uh, really luscious anacotta there. Oh. Mm. That's a little bit of tangerine, and the panacotta just melts in your mouth. Mm. Mm. 
very nice. So this is the wind buffet uh, after a couple of years and I must say it's just as good as before. Uh, very clean, really fantastic food and even better is the people and the desserts. So again, really glad to be back and really glad that you're able to join. Uh, looks like uh, Vegas is um, doing okay. And uh, hopefully we'll all get through this. I know it's not over yet, but uh, I think we're getting there. And uh, so uh, for all who are watching, I wish, uh, wish you good health and uh, a great year. And uh, until we see each other again, uh, God bless and uh, all the best to you. Cheers. Mm. And this reminded me, I hope you're eating well too. Mm.